So, boy, there's so many issues there. Um, one, one that's obvious and uh, jumps out at me is the question about uh, how we should pay for money. So there's, money really is a distributive drama, and banking is a distributive drama. The whole development of that industry is a distributive decision on the basis of uh, the architects of this system. Well, I would say no one quite made the decision, it just evolved. But it's worth stepping back and actually thinking about uh, the distribution of resources and rewards in the system as a constitutional small c governance matter. Um, I think I would also say second that, uh, well, second, surely the, the instability of the system is a constitutional issue. It's really a matter of governance because uh, when there's a, a collapse, the government as the stakeholder steps in. So if you think about if you think about the way money really works, you understand why the government always has the capacity to step in because it can always rescue banks by creating a unit of account that it will create demand for by taxing, right? So it's always got the capacity and that's why it is the guarantor of, you know, in the last analysis that that steps in. So I think the the instability and the implication, right, the, the responsibility that falls on the taxpayer and on the public to bail out the system is ultimately a constitutional issue. And the last, the last one that I'll mention um, is that uh, the way we think about money affects how we use it and what we do with it and, and what rights we think are attached to it. So, so the idea, the priority to creditors to kind of have a sanctity about the quality of money that they're paid back is a characteristic of our modern system. At the same time, we've created a system which then obliges taxpayers to bail out banks um, uh, who are an essential part of this system in a way that doesn't, we don't then talk about the rights of taxpayers. We instead uh, assume that it's a political decision to bail out the bank. So, so I think as lawyers, there are really interesting questions about rights and um, legal rights and political responsibilities and how we come up with the categories that divide those two and whether those categories make sense or whether they're really just a function of the ideology that we hold because of our monetary system.